Hey, Shalom, I'm Israel. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the honor to the apostles, the elders of a great millstone, and Shalom to the elect men doing its fruit in truth and in sincerity. Um, just you know, I want to do a video on redeeming the times, man, real quick. Just uh, you know, a quick video on how as brothers we got to be serious, man. We got to understand what times we living in, how we, what man or person we supposed to be in. All right, because not only is the spiritual demon Satan going harder, but the physical demon Satan, which is uh, Esau, the so called white man, is going harder. Right, pushing his agenda towards, you know, the black, so called black Hebrew Israelite thing, you know, uh, um, basically defaming us, man. You know, you got the chip coming. All right, you got the World War Three brewing up, man. Now, it's different articles that, you know, us, even as brothers, as you know, of course, we are supposed to be as watchmen. All right. So you watch these different articles. You It helps you redeem the times, man. This says right here, U.S. Army makes largest deployment of troops to Somalia since Black Hawk Down. All right. Then, uh, you know, major strikes over in Syria and Afghanistan within the past two weeks. All right. U.S. actions can see nuclear war break out at any point. You know, so as the scriptures say, man, it's high time to wake out of sleep. You know, it is high time to awake out of sleep, man. Because anytime, anytime, man, Esau can come down on, on you, man. That's why as a brother, as a brother, uh, Yeshua said, and I, I just, you know, keep that in mind, man. You, you Literally, man, you need to have your sneakers, you know what I'm saying? Have your clothes, you know, right there next to you just in case, you know. Might be time to get up and go. You know? It's not time to um lighten up as Apostle Har said, but it's time to tighten up, man. You know? At the same time, you know, Satan's gonna try to hardly get you out of this truth. Trying to make you think as if you're not a man of the Lord, man. Alright? As the scoffers and scorners did to you, how is shy, man? Alright. But like I said, man, it's you know, you got to understand what you're into, man, and and truly believe in your how about Shimmy Shah. Truly believe in the words that he he's allowed you to speak, man. Know that it is a blessing to see the fall of our enemies, man. All right? But know at the same time, there is a, uh, as I say, to every action, there is a reaction, man. All right? All right? To every action, there is a reaction, man. And as you know, the Most High allowed us to go out there and speak this word. All right, there's going to be a reaction, man. There's going to be repercussions, man. Because there's many people that don't want us to speak this word. Why? All right, because they know spiritually that's bringing down their, their happiness, man, their kingdom. You know? So I got a few precepts, uh, Salaki. I had looked up, um, just typed in on the King James Bible, Salaki, you know, throat kind of hurting me right now, so I'm keep speaking kind of low, but this is, um, Ecclesiastes chapter three, and verse, I could just start from one, to everything there is a time, there is a season and time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. You know? A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. You know, so that's basically the point, man. It's a time to season under under the heaven for everything, man. You know? You know? Right now, it's a time for us to go out there and push this word. As soon as it's going to be a time for us to be living as pilgrims, man. To be living on the edge, so to speak. All right. A time for us to uh, put into practice the things that we have learned. Right. That's why right now it's imperative that we continue to read, to pray, to watch videos and really understand, you know what I'm saying, what, we, what we're into, you know. To ask to get closer to you, how about Shimmy? How was shy, man? You know, to ask and pray for more strength, for more faith, man. 
you know. I'm trying to find uh you know other precepts on the time, man. Oh, and the apocrypha said what? Measured out of times diligently in itself, man. All right, going into Matthew's 24 as well, man. All right, rumors, uh, earthquakes in diverse places. Rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places. It also speaks of how, uh, you know, people's going to come up against us, man, for speaking these words, man. Just as he did like Yahweh, like I said, man. You know? So, you know, just a quick video, you know, just trying to edify the Akim. Just know what time you're living in, man. You know, watch the brothers, you know, Great Millstone and see what this see where the spirit lies, man. You know, brothers talking about, you know, it's time to, to lighten up. Like I mean sound is tighten up, Salaki. So you know. Know who's in your camp, man. Know who you're surrounding yourself with, man. You know, understand where your where your thought process is at, at this point, man. All right, you got those fake camps, you know, um, IUIC in them. Oh, they in party mode, man. Well, around this time, you know, Yahweh Shai um, was in a very, uh, as Apostle uh, uh, Kabar said, a very pensive state. Which, if you look up that word pensive, is basically like a, basically a very serious, you know, and deep, a person in deep thought. You know? So right now, it's very serious times, man. I'm try to find it real quick in uh second edges the ninth chapter. Slacky, I can't find it, Aki. But um, yeah, man. Basically, talks about you know measured how measured thou the time diligently in itself. You know, and like I said, we measuring the times, man. You know, so uh, you know, just time to get serious, man. Time to go harder for this truth. Time to study more, pray more, and do more, do more for the Lord, man. All right. So with that, I hope brothers edified. Shalom, Israel.